Uh, hi guys. I've today's supposed to be my day off, but I've been working at a well, taking a funeral, so my feet are killing me. I'm exhausted, and I just come into my office and thought oh, I'll have a look at see how my makeup is gone. It's not too too bad, I suppose, but you can see I don't have any concealer on because I have black eyes, as usual. Um, I'm going to have to really work at this whole foundation thing because and, and try and get the right kind of formula that, that will suit um, my particular skin and the issue, the under eye issues that I have that are quite severe. Um, but I was watching Goss, Goss Makeup Artist um, the other night and was really surprised to discover that you know the best way to apply foundation is with a dampened sponge so I did that yesterday with very look it looked great to begin with but you know by lunchtime it looked like I didn't even have any foundation on it at all so I've realized that I've got to do multiple applications which I'm not really used to doing um, so that was the first kind of discovery that you know and what he said made a lot of sense that if you if you've got very um, open pores like I do and um, you know skin issues where you've got valleys all over the place um, doing it with a sponge helps to fill in those valleys and and the pores a lot better whereas if you just rub over the top you know the likelihood is that you're going to um you know just go straight over those those pores um so that was the first discovery so i've still got a bit of practice to do on that one the second thing that i discovered was that you know and this is what drew me to this particular video was that he said that you, um, he said 90% of, of women apply their powder incorrectly. Might, the, the figure might have even been higher than that, not sure. But he, he said, do not ever use a powder brush to apply your foundation sort of with the circular motions, which is really what I've been doing with my mineral powder finish, um, mineral powder. <laughs> And he said the reason is is that you're you're going to disturb you're not going to set your foundation and you will disturb the the very careful foundation that you've already applied. You're gonna move it, you're gonna shift it. So he said the best way to apply it is with a um like a a powder puff and and sort of gently just roll into the skin so that you actually set it well that makes a lot of sense um i thought i had reasonable success with my um uh, circular motion with my mineral powder but apparently not and he said the only reason you should be using your brush um is is to he said the whole purpose of a powder brush is to um wipe off the excess powder that is on your face Aha, uh -huh. so that was a bit of a light bulb moment. But it, I'm curious because, you know, a lot of makeup people do apply with the circular motion. There's tutorials about it. There's, um, you know, and, and I don't really get, you know, who's right, who's wrong. But, you know, is, yeah, so what do you do? Do you apply your foundation uh, very carefully <laughs> and with more than one application? And do you, um, you know, when you set, if you use a powder, how, how do you do that? So, yeah, I'm going to have to look for a powder puff because I think the ones that I have, they're really, really tiny. So, yeah, I just thought I'd come on and share because I had nothing else to do. And I really don't want to do housework at 4.30 in the afternoon when I've been up since about five o'clock, so no, not happening. I just want to relax now. So I thought I'd just do this. <laughs> okay. Um, 
that's all for me. So I shall catch you later. Take care. Bye.